Hey everyone, it's the Papyrian here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you all a full rundown of how to beat the developer times in Blizzard Bluff. Special thanks to CAH10 and many other people out there who are giving me the idea of this video. And don't worry, it doesn't matter if you're a noob or not, I believe everyone will have a fair chance of beating the dev times here after watching this guide. And also starting from today onwards, I will be doing a comment of the day shout out in each of my upcoming videos. So if you have any video ideas that you would like me to do or you know just comment down below in this video you might be the next one to appear on my next video and for today's comment of the day from my previous video goes to jesse collins so thank you jesse i appreciate it you are awesome as well thank you for supporting the channel and all right now let's begin on the guide on beating the death times in blizzard bluff so as usual here are a few things you need to keep in mind first before attempting this method Use speed if you can, as that is what I'm using as well. I think this is pretty important as the timing of the rolling boulder and the way you take the fence shortcut could be different from this guide if you use something else other than speed. But hey, if you want to use drift or acceleration, go ahead. Just know that I'm sticking with speed on this one. Secondly, I feel that the main roadblock of this track has to be the rolling boulders, the jumping shortcut and the fence shortcut, but mainly the fence shortcut. So I'm going to be focusing on these three the most in this video. And finally, you are going to do roughly the same thing for the entire lap 1, 2, and 3. So just master the methods here first on lap 1 and repeat it for the rest of the laps in order to win the ghost. And with that out of the way, let's hop onto the track right now and begin the guide. So we're at the start of the track and of course get a perfect boost and preferably an extra 1 to 2 boost after that and enter the first shortcut. Moving forward, this is where you want to build as much reserve as you can. So just keep doing as many perfect slides and this is actually to set up for the reserve for the jump shortcut and the upcoming fence shortcut. Now for the first lap, you will want to grab this turbo pad here. Your main objective now is to keep the secret fire until you win the race. Go through the left side of the track to avoid the boulder, pretty straightforward. Now this next part is important for you to successfully take the shortcut because as I recall, CAH10 is having trouble with this. So if you're having trouble with this as well, here's how to do it. Now usually it doesn't matter what driving style I use because here's what I always do. You see right after the rolling boulder, I would jump on the first bump and then the second bump. But on the third bump, what you want to do is to immediately drift to the left side and all the while getting your perfect boost. And if you do it correctly, time your jump right after the third boost and jump off the edge. If you practice many many times, it will become second nature and you won't lose your secret fire. And now the final obstacle which is the fence shortcut. Now I've actually explained on how this works already in this video. So you can click on the top here if you are still having trouble with it after this guide. But basically what you want to do is to make sure that you enter into the shortcut like so and before you even touch the snow, jump. Your aim here is to jump and skip as much snow as you can to avoid losing speed. And then after that, don't jump immediately for the second time and instead, allow your car to move a little bit to the front and stick to the left side of the fence and then jump once you're close enough. Again, if you're having trouble with this or just simply don't understand how this actually works, head over to the video that I've just made which is my previous video. Alright, and now we're in lap 2. So same thing, take the shortcut on the lap here and proceed as usual but this time, ignore the turbo pad immediately and cut corner on the left side. If you follow the method right, the boulder should be rolling to the right side which makes things easier once again. Repeat this step for the rest of lap 2 and lap 3 and the win is as good as yours as long as no mistakes were made. And yeah, that's actually about it. It might take some time getting used to especially for the fence shortcut. But you know what they say, practice makes perfect as long as you practice it the right way. So yeah, share with me below if this actually helped you out in any way. And also subscribe if you haven't already for more tips and tricks like this one. In my next developer times guide, it will be on Hyperspace Way and then followed by Papu's Pyramid due to the request by Ruben RS. So thank you Ruben and of course many many others who are requesting for this as well. So yeah, that is all for this guide. I'm gonna be leaving the full gameplay on the screen right now just so you know how I do everything. This is the Vapor signing off. Thanks for watching and enjoy the gameplay.